Kevin Hilda, so this is a video on how to tell if your OtterBox is counterfeit or not. This is the OtterBox Defender for the HTC One M8. Now the real one right here is on my left side, counterfeit's on the right side. Now the case is almost exactly the same, uh, so we're going to focus on the retail packaging first. Now there's a couple ways on the front. Now the, the, the easy, one of the ways is to of course compare the Otter logos. Counterfeit ones are a lot blacker as if he fell in oil. Uh, uh, real ones are a lot uh, lighter so look at that right there but most counterfeits these days match it perfect these are very rare where it's actually pure black so this is like an uh, probably just an extra stockpile they had at the counterfeit factory because all the new ones now match it perfect so but you still get a lot of counterfeits that have this because they, they mass produced them now another way to check is to enter the UP uh, the, the QR code as you can tell, there are two different ones. So enter it. If it goes to a different product, it's going to be fake. Another way to tell in the front, which is going to be hard to tell from the camera, is to check the green bar. Uh, you know, it's very, very close, but there's a difference. Don't know if you'll be able to tell from a camera or not, but uh, in person it is. But like I said, they're very close. You'll get them confused all the time if you're, if you're handling them. Now, the real one's on top here. Now, there's two ways to check at the bottom. Now, uh, focus only on the, the right side, not the left side, the right side font. Now, fake ones have bolded font. See, uh, almost all of them do, not all of them. See, notice how this font's bold and this one's not. So if you have bolded font, it's going to be counterfeit, but some counterfeits do not have bolded font, but real ones do not have it. So if you have bolded font, you know it's fake. Now, when it comes to the UPC, that's another great way to check. Now, these, as you can tell, these two are do not match. The real one, it does not match the real one. So this, this is a, this is a, a, a UPC probably to a different OtterBox model. So enter that. If it does not match the one you bought, then it's going to be counterfeit. So that's the way you can tell the retail packaging. So now we're going to open it up. Now, like I said, these are pretty crazy how similar they are. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take off the belt clip. Bell clips are perfectly, uh, so this is the back, perfectly the same. Now here's the front. This is the problem. Because they're almost perfect, but there's some key differences. So, as you notice, both backgrounds have plastic backgrounds. Uh, everything matches the same, look at that. But, if you look closely, and you know what's interesting is, this is the real one, and if you notice, that's why I always say, if you have a product that where it's kind of has a flood, does not mean it is counterfeit. Because look at that. The font is not even centered. It's facing towards the left. The counterfeit one actually has a right. Actually, the counterfeit one has it matched all the way to the right. So none, none of them actually have it centered. Almost all other boxes have their font centered, so that's a little bit error. But as you notice, there's only one key difference on this. And that is the, the country code. As you can tell, that's a solid black background be behind it, while the fake one does not have, I mean, the real one does not have such a background. Uh, so I'm trying to get the, so look at the, the word USA. Notice there's no black background, and then notice there's a black background on there. But like I said, these are almost exactly the same. Counterfeiters, you know, they, they, it's a pastime, it's national pastime in China to counterfeit uh, intellectual property, so. Uh, sometimes I even feel like they come from the same factory, so. So that's how you can tell. I'm sorry, guys, if there's no more details on these, but they're just so much alike. So that's why I say focus on the retail packaging, because it's going to be hard to tell on these. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody.